Hey everybody, thank you so so much for tuning in. Today's video I am back with another Michaels dupe and this time we are getting way ahead of the times and we are doing some Easter decor videos. Now I know it's really early but Michaels already put their stuff out and I've been saying that I have the winter blues for a, quite some time so I really just wanted to start early and start switching out my winter decor to see if I feel a little better and I really hope that you enjoy this video and you stick around by subscribing to this channel because once you hit that subscribe button we instantly become best friends did we just become best friends yep and please hit that notification bell youtube may or may not let you know when i post a video but if they don't follow me on instagram let's go ahead and get started for my first project i'm going to use this little pack of eggs from dollar tree now i want to paint them white so i'm going to use this acrylic paint it's a multi-surface paint but you can use whatever you want or leave yours plain but if you don't want to use a dollar tree one then Walmart has a big pack of 12 for $1.98 that are already in white. So this is what they look like once they are painted. And what I'm going to do is I am going to actually start to make it look cracked. If you want it to stand up, you can add something to the bottom, like a little piece of cardboard. But I actually am going to use a little carton it came in. So when you're making these cuts, make sure that the knife is away from you the blade is facing up and away from you and your fingers are nowhere in sight some of the eggs are really really soft and you can cut with no issue and some of them are a little tougher so take your time and just make sure that you are being safe if you have gloves wear that so i only did this to three of my eggs but if you want to do them to all then that's up to you so i set them all to the side and if they have a little dent you can always just push that in once you remove the shell up top so now i'm going to put them back on the carton and again if you want these to stand up you can put a little tiny piece of cardboard at the bottom and make sure to paint it white but i really like the carton so i'm just going to place it where i want it and hot glue it in place now being completely honest this is more of an inspiration because it does end up looking very different but i still think it's similar enough to call it a dupe now, once I put everything in place, I do want to put some flowers in there, and right now I am really loving the wildflowers from Dollar Tree. So I am just going to take one little piece, and I'm going to cut it down, and with that little piece, I'm going to fill all three of my eggs. So I'm going to actually use the rest of the wildflowers for another tutorial on here, but I'm still going to count this as a dollar spent on this one. Per usual, I'm not counting my acrylic paint because I do have a ton left over, and I'm using it for the rest of my tutorials as well. Now here's a look at the Michaels one. They're $5.99 each, and they do have these flowers at Dollar Tree if you want to make these identical. And here's a look at mine, $2 for this whole set. For this next one, I'm going to use this frame from Dollar Tree. It has four by six, so this is the size of the total frame. And I'm going to remove the back. Now I am going to save it, so I'm just going to put it off to the side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to push these in. I usually remove them, but I'm actually going to use it to my advantage. And I'm going to use that same white that I used for the eggs and paint this really well. Now I normally would spray paint, but it's still too cold out, so I did three coats of this. And then I found this arrow from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna remove the hardware and save it, not for this tutorial, but definitely for another one. But if you wanted to save a dollar, you can just get some hard cardboard and draw an arrow and cut it out because what I'm doing from Michaels kind of just looks like paper anyway if you see it in person. So I'm gonna remove all of the texture and then I'm gonna paint it that same white. Now on here I want to write bunny trail and I can do that freehanding or I can use these poster stickers from Dollar Tree. They also have these cute little galvanized ones that say bunny, but I did use my Cricut so I'm going to show you how you can just print your font from your computer by just printing it out, adding some chalk to the back placing it on your surface and then tracing it out. I'm going to leave the link to this original video in the description. It's one of my most popular videos and it's such a time saver and free because you don't need a Cricut. You just kind of trace over everything and draw it through. I also show you which apps I add my font to. The font that I'm using is Magnolia Sky and like I said I'm using my Cricut for this but you can use that other method which is absolutely free. So once that is on there I'm going to set this all to the side. I'm going to work on my frame. So for the frame what I'm 
going to do is I am going to grab the piece that I saved and I'm going to start lining up popsicle sticks. You can use the free ones that they give you in the paint section of Walmart or Home Depot. I still haven't gotten any more, so I'm just going to use my jumbo popsicle sticks, but you can do this for free because they do hand these out for free. Or a pack is 98 cents, which brings 10. Now, for the jumbo popsicle sticks, I am lining up, I believe it's 11. And then I'm going to use my cardboard to draw a straight line. Make sure that you are moving your hand where you are moving your pencil when you do this so that your popsicle sticks don't move around. Now these are actually pretty thin, so you can cut them individually with scissors. I do them in a lot of tutorials, or you can just wrap these up in tape and use a saw, which is what I did, but like I said, you can use your scissors. I'm going to buff them out just a little bit so I don't end up stabbing myself with any pieces, and then I'm going to remove the tape and stain this. I'm going to stain this using Minwax's Dark Walnut. I'm also not including this in the price because I have used this same bottle of stain for so many tutorials but if you want to include it in the price that whole jar i believe is three dollars or you can skip this and use watered down paint i know people use shoe polish for this as well or you can leave it the natural color totally up to you and what you're looking to spend. Now I'm going to put it onto my frame and I'm going to lift up those little pieces. If I would have made just one more, I would have actually been able to put one on top of the other to make it look like shutters, but I was one short, so I should have used 12. Now I'm going to grab my glue gun and put the glue on top. Now usually I do it at the bottom, but I didn't want any to seep out through the front, and now I'm going to place my little cardboard thing back on top which is going to allow me to hang this. I'm going to take some hot glue and add my little bunny trail arrow. So here's a look at the Michaels one which is $20 and here's a look at mine which is under five bucks and if you're not counting the sticks then it's two dollars. For my next dupe, I'm going to be using this decorative nautical rope from Dollar Tree. I actually have a long piece left over from a previous tutorial and I really didn't want a really long garland so this is about six feet. I folded it in half, then I took the ends and I made a little tiny loop. I hot glued it in place, but just to cover that up and make, make it look a little bit neater, I'm going to grab some twine and I'm going to wrap it around. Like I said, you can do this whole thing with just twine because this is going to be a little carrot garland. The one at Michael's is very, very thin, cheap twine. I just really like how it looks with the thicker rope. So I'm going to do the same thing to the other side, and now you have a way of hanging your garland. For this next step, this is optional, and you do not have to do it. Please do not do this around anything flammable, but anytime I work with rope, I grab a lighter, and I quickly, very quickly, pass the lighter across the rope just to get rid of all of those little scraggly pieces. You don't want to hold the flame on the rope too long, very, very quickly, and then move on. Now that it looks a lot neater, I'm going to use these carrots from Dollar Tree. Four come to a pack. Now instead of holding them together like this, I'm just going to put one a little bit lower so that it hangs nicely. And then I'm going to tie it together using my twine. And once it's tied, I am going to tie that to that fold that I made in my rope. So this is actually folded in half. The, this is the other end of my rope. And this is just going to help me get an even amount of carrots onto here. So I'm going to tie that really, really well and then start placing my other carrots where I feel that they would look so good. So depending on how many carrots you use or how long you want your garland, that's what depends on what your price is going to be. Now I used four packs of the carrots and one half of a rope and some twine. So like I said, this is a six foot garland with 16 carrots and it does cover my staircase, which is pretty nice. To straighten out the rope just a little bit, I'm going to use my flat iron and I'm just going to pass it through. It's not very, very high heat, but just to get rid of the little bends that it has from it being folded. That way it just looks a little better hung up. So here's a look at the Michaels one, which is $14.99. And I'm not sure how many carrots it has, but you can see the really, really thin twine. So you can make it like that if you want as well. And here is a look at mine. Now I have 16 carrots. You can double it. And it was five bucks. For this next tutorial, I'm going to use these bamboo wreaths from Dollar Tree. I absolutely love them. And I'm going to use 
two of the large ones and one of the smaller ones. I'm going to put a small one on top of the large one and I'm going to attach it. Now, I love that it has that twine around it, so that is exactly what I'm going to use to attach it. I'm also going to add some toothpicks that I had around the house. This isn't the first time that I use toothpicks. I just feel like this helps it stay in place. You can also use wire if you want, but I really, really like using toothpicks for this. I don't know why. So I'm going to shove them in there and then I'm just going to cut them down and push down the rest of the pieces. Be really careful not to hurt yourself. And now I'm going to take my twine and wrap it around really, really tightly and then knot it into place. That way it's nice and secure. If you're using hot glue, there's a chance that this could fall apart, even though hot glue does hold very well. I just like that the twine looks like it belongs on this. So now I'm gonna knot it, and I'm also going to add little bunny ears to this because this is a little bunny wreath, and this is where the larger bamboo wreath comes into play. I did this off camera because I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out, but I literally just bent it and folded it upward. These particular wreaths from Dollar Tree have a wire in them, so where you bend, it'll kind of stay in place. So I'm going to show you with the smaller one what I did. I just pushed the wreath down to split it in half and then pushed up. Now I'm going to attach that. Now for this I am going to use hot glue. So I'm going to hot glue it in place and then I'm going to grab my twine and do the exact same thing. I tried to disguise the twine as much as possible by going around the loops in the ears, but because it has so many twine pieces already wrapped, you really can't see it. So now I'm going to take the rest of my wildflowers, which is only two bouquets. This is the one that I used for the eggs. As you can see, I've already cut some pieces. And then I had a bouquet of white. To really make my money stretch, I am going to just take this apart completely, remove the greenery from the flowers. The smaller you cut this down, the more pieces you have to wrap around the bunny. So with two bouquets, I was able to cover this entire thing and I still had some greenery left over. Spoiler alert, I did add some of the yellow and I really didn't like it. So I removed it and just kept the white. So as is, this is what the Michaels one looks like. I decided to add a little bow from some burlap that I had around. I'm not exactly sure if this one is Dollar Tree or not. You guys let me know in the comments section, but I made a little bow and I placed that on there. So I used three reefs and two bouquets. And if you want to count the ribbon, that is another dollar. So that is $6. So let's take a look at the Michaels one. This one is $14.99. And then mine is five to six dollars depending on what you're counting. So I really really hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Let me know which one is your favorite and as usual thank you so so much for watching and I will hopefully see you on the next one.